on the beast, baby. Ducati X Diablo. Uh, some of you trolls out there, you're like Psycho Cruiser. You ain't no real rider. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Psycho Cruisers all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. I'm not the sensitive type. I'm not out here worried about these trolls and what they say. I could care less. I actually think it's funny. But I thought I would address this comment because I, I hear this a lot. You know, uh, not just for me, but I, I hear, I see where people will comment, troll on other, people, other people's videos about them not being a real rider. You know? About riders who only ride maybe uh, on a Sunday or something. Let's pull this. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Whoa! Oh, fuck! Man! I tell you guys, this bike pulls so hard. Ah! Feels good, baby. <laughs> but I tell you guys, how, how dare you question whether I'm a real rider or not. You're talking about a dude who built a van, a bug out camper van, specifically for his motorcycle. <laughs> I built the van to, per to so that I can live in my van with my motorcycle, man. Ah, nice and comfortable, man. Feels like I'm right at home. Got my wonderful WR250R there. Dinner cooking. How many people out there you know that do that? A lot of people just will put the motorcycle on the back of their vehicle, buy one of those uh, those carriers on the back and call it a day. They don't care, they can care less. Me, I care about my motorcycles. I don't want my motorcycles getting tampered with. I like to stay stealth when I'm doing some urban camping and parking lots, people don't know that I'm living in there and certainly don't think I got a motorcycle in there. They don't know. Just arriving here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Just waking up here in Salt Lake City, Utah, here at the Comfort Inn parking lot. That keeps my bike from getting stolen or tampered with. But I tell you guys, that just shows you my love of motorcycles. You know, I truly, it, it, anybody that loves motorcycles as much as I do, that's a, a real rider. I don't know, I know a lot of people out there, you know, they have different, uh, you know, they define a real rider differently. They have a different perspective on it. Uh, a lot of people think that you should be riding your motorcycle every day. If you don't ride it every day, you're not a real rider. I think it's absolutely ridiculous for somebody to call somebody else not, uh, not a real rider because that is just, if they're riding a motorcycle, guys, they're a real rider. They love riding. Now, I know there are some people out there, that a very small percentage of people that are really just trying to look good out here on the streets to get the ladies, you know, getting a Harley. But I tell you, most of these people, even riders that do that, they still love motorcycles. Most of them. I have yet to meet somebody that is riding a motorcycle just for show only. I, throughout my life, I've been around motorcycle riders going all the way back since I was a child. My dad was a rider. He was, before he died, he died. He was actually building a trike. Uh, he made it from scratch. I mean, he welded the frame and everything, man. And he didn't complete it before he died, but uh, I bet all his friends were riders. My brother was a rider. I grew up in a, in a household with riders around, you know. My mom wasn't a rider, but everybody else was a rider. Like I told you, I started when I was seven years old, but I quit as a teenager and when I went out on my own for a long period of time, and then I came back to it uh, back in like 2008 or nine or something like that. Whenever I started with that, I got that Chinese scooter to start me off. Oh, baby. Ah! <laughs> Woo! Love it, baby. But uh, I don't understand you guys, man. That uh, try to talk crap to somebody, tell them they're not a real rider. Or some of you guys, because you don't, uh, some of the riders don't do wheelies out here on the street or do tricks and or whatever, they're not a real rider. 
I mean, get out of here. Everybody out here is not trying to show off. Those are show offs. That's basically what that is. I can wheel it. I tell you guys. Even though you guys don't think I can, but I can. I can't. I do it on my. That's why I bought my WR 250R to I could mess around and crap around and have fun and and mess around on that. I but I've really my CBR 1000, my 600, um, and uh, of course my WR 250R, which I do often. I mean, you have to wheelie with the WR 250R when you ride uh, raw woods. You have to wheelie over logs and stuff. I mean, that's 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 a mandatory skill you have to learn if you want to be a proper you know ride single tracks and 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 ride in raw woods but stop worrying about uh you know somebody else in there you know about motorcycles or whether they're a real rider or not focus on yourself man don't worry about what other people are doing you know i love i truly love motorcycles to the core and always will even if i can't ride ride anymore i'm still gonna love them and i'm gonna i'm gonna preach to everybody to get one it's the best thing that ever happened in my life. I'll tell you guys that uh, uh, it really helps with anytime you experience any lows with depression, you get on your bike. It's, you're cured, guys. You are cured. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, my. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guys! Let's get some air! Let's get some air! Whoa! <laughs> Got some good air that time, baby! Get some slide action! Woo! Get some slide action! <laughs> I'm telling you, I've heard of people that it, it's helped. Uh, I heard, you know, a mom that bought our son a motorcycle he was highly depressed suicidal and uh and got him a motorcycle it changed his life man he went on to college and and he's doing really well and he loves motorcycles it cured his depression and suicidal thoughts and stuff so it could be a lifesaver contrary to popular belief which a lot of people think they're not that safe but i'll tell you you ride out here with some sense ride defensively and uh and wear high vis gear and be cautious out here you'll be fine man but uh, you're never safe, like I told you guys. Sitting there watching this video right now, you could have a, a, a aneurysm, brain aneurysm, like my brother did. At age 30 years old, he had a brain aneurysm, and he rode from age 7 to 30 years old and never never even got a scratch riding. And he was the craziest squid rider out here. And, uh, and he never got hurt on a bike. So whatever you got in store for you, you know, that's why you want to keep your karma clean. Stop that troll talk. Because that karma may come back on you, man. Especially if you ride a motorcycle. <laughs> you might want to be a nice guy when you have a motorcycle. Because you don't want that, that bad karma to come back and drop kick you off your bike. You know what I'm saying, man? Set you up for a real effed up day. A real fooked up day. F-O-O-K-E-D. Fooked. Because I can't cuss no more. Because <laughs> you two don't like cussing. But uh, anyways, guys, for those of you guys who want to get my gear, you know, my camel pants, my helmet, my gloves, leather pants, jackets, everything, I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Gear, and those are current links to all of my gear. And uh, if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with my over 1,100 plus videos categorized into those playlists. So hopefully you can find something that you're looking for. Appreciate all you guys. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, share this video with your friends, guys. And uh, just ignore the trolls. But I just think it's funny anyhow. But I thought I'd do a video on it. Uh, but hey, guys, subscribe to my All-in-One Motorcycle channel. And also, go check out my other channel, Book Out Moto. That showcases a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything. Bug out moto. As a courtesy, I included two video playlists one for new riders, and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders, and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, Hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.